हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू क्वाइंट्स एप माई सेल्फ विग्नेश तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक्स एवरी वन थैंक्स फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी इन दिस वीडियो सो एज यू माइट हैव सीन इन द थमनेल टू डेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट रिलेटिव परफॉर्मेंस ग्राफ दैट इज आर पी जी सो आर पी जी इज बेसिकली आई वुड से वन ऑफ द प्रोपराइटरी टूल ऑफ क्वाइंट्स एप सो टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द रूल्स लाइक हाउ टू यूज आर पी जी वेन टू यूज आर पी जी ओके हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्टॉक्स एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर पी जी कैन help you to uh, do in the market okay so because see being a option buyer what we usually look for we usually look for a bottom point correct say not exactly the bottom but say for example if the stock is in say a stock is moving and say it is currently having a long unwinding setup that is a stock is slightly correcting and then again during the reversal okay again during the reversal is it possible to catch the bo bottom of the stock so rpg more or less helps you to catch the bottom i would say okay from there onwards we can get a decent swing of say 5% 8% 10% or anything so what are the rules how to use rpg everything we will be looking today okay first of all if you are new to quants app and if you haven't installed the application yet i would request you to install the application at the earliest okay because as soon as you install the application you will be unlocking the benefits of 25 free tools immediately so definitely those 25 free tools will help you to improvise your trading journey and apart from that as you know quants app has approximately 70 to 80 tools if you see under track there are n number of tools under analyze scan trading so you can definitely go and explore them so if you want the access of these tools or if you want to first know how these tools will help you what you can do is install the application go to learn section go to video library so what is video library this is basically the banks of videos okay here you will be finding almost all the videos of quantsap uh, like all the tools of quantsap and for viewing these videos it is absolutely free of cost you need not pay even a single rupee so first of all you can take your time you can view all this video for your convenience we have recorded it in the four different languages that is english hindi marathi and tamil you can choose the language as per your convenience and you can definitely check out these videos okay so if you are okay with this video then you can Uh, think of subscribing it okay but while exploring this video if you have any query you have the helpline number handy okay so you can any time contact us on the helpline number mentioned above okay so let's get into today's topic that is rpg first can you see trading options so under trading under quant models the first one is relative performance graph so let me explain you how rpg works give me a second okay so if you see there is a gray box in the middle can you see this this is a gray box so whenever a stock is placed in this box okay whenever a stock is placed in this neutral box it is usually advised that you don't initiate any trade be it long be it short or anything okay do not initiate any trade because usually whenever the stock is placed in this quadrant we are not sure about the next move whether it is going to go up or whether it is going to retrace further we don't know so avoid taking any fresh position whenever the stock is in the neutral zone simple now if you see there are four quadrants one is progressive one is weak one is lagard and one is strong i hope you can see that correct there are four quadrants now what does this each quadrant indicate let us go and check that whenever a stock is placed in the weak zone that is the stock is lacking momentum the stock is beaten down there is no scope for any upside as such you can think so no fresh position whenever the stock is placed in the weak zone okay now comes progressive zone so this is what is very important for us the progressive zone okay so as i said have you ever captured any stock from the bottom the answer is 90% no correct so rpg will help you to capture it most of the time i would say okay the accuracy level is decent enough you can back test it we will anyhow we are going to see an example okay so say whenever the stock is in progressive zone whenever the stock moves from weak to progressive it is an indication that the stock might pick up momentum from here 
so whenever it moves from weak to progressive it is a indication of bullishness you can go long in that stock now usually it is said that a stock will follow the cycle that is weak to progressive progressive to strong strong to laggard and again laggard to weak so a stock will follow the cycle but it is not necessary that every time the stock will follow the cycle correct so what i would suggest you is whenever a stock moves from weak to progressive whenever a stock moves from weak to progressive you can think of planning a bullish trade and say whenever the stock moves to strong zone whenever the stock moves to strong zone you can plan to exit your trades that is you can go and check the open interest if the stock is trading somewhere near to its highest call writer levels then you can go and exit your trade or you can book your profits okay whatever now when to take a trade very important question from weak to progressive say the stock moved from weak to progressive on 10th okay randomly i am taking any date on any month okay of any month say on 10th the stock moved from weak to progressive now first of all very important this is a positional trading tool you are going to check this at the end of the day you are not going to check this tool in the live market so say for example tonight okay tonight i am going to check this and if i find any stock moving from weak to progressive on monday i will initiate a bullish trade provided the criteria meets now what is the criteria i will explain okay so on from weak to progressive the stock moved on 10th i will take a trade on 11th provided 10th day high is broken simple if you are finding a stock on progressive zone on 10th you can plan a bullish trade on 11th provided 10th day high is taken out very simple and whenever it moves from say progressive to strong you can plan a profit booking okay like you can go and book your profits now sometimes what happens is from weak to progressive it moves and then it usually goes to neutral zone or else again it comes back to weak zone so there is a possibility of these things so once you enter into the trade what you can do is you can keep an immediate swing low as your stop loss now that immediate swing low can be as per the one hour time frame or daily time frame depends okay depends from stock to stock depends on the structure so you need to be good with technicals for keeping an immediate swing low as a stop loss okay so now for bullish trade we discuss now for bearish trade if a stock moves from strong to laggard okay if a stock moves from strong to laggard okay and say on 10th again on 10th i am finding a stock moving from weak to from strong to laggard on 11th i will be taking a trade provided 10th day low is broken and then again if it comes to weak zone and if it is trading somewhere near to its put writers level you can accordingly go and book your profits on the short trade okay i hope the system is clear okay like how exactly to use this okay give me a second hmm. so i hope the rules are quite clear that is whenever it moves from weak to progressive the next day i will be planning a trade provided previous days high is taken out whenever a stock moves from strong to laggard i'll plan a bearish trade next day provided previous day low is taken out simple now let us go and check few examples that is first one i would like to show you is let's say bajaj auto okay so as of now now most of the people are confused with respect to this tail so you are not supposed to look at this tail okay this portion bajaj auto it is written and it is marked as dark blue so you are supposed to see this this is the current day's data so if you ask see today is 13th september so on 13th september bajaj auto is placed in the strong zone simple now this are these blue uh, blue dots are the dates i can rewind and check out the previous day like okay where was bajaj auto so if i go behind if you see on 30th august 29th august 28th 26th if you see 23rd 22nd 21st 20th so if you see on 20th august bajaj finance was in weak zone can you see bajaj finance was in weak zone so on 20th night i am checking the bajaj auto so it is in weak i am ignoring now on 21st so again on 21st night i am checking and i found that oh bajaj finance has moved to progressive now what does that progressive zone indicates there is a possibility of an upside momentum 
So when I will take a trade on 21st night, if I'm figuring out that Bajaj Finance has reached the progressive zone on 22nd, I will take a trade provided 21st day high is taken out. Let me go to the chart. Bajaj Auto, I will be taking a trade on 22nd provided 21st day high is taken out. Very simple. Give me a second. Okay, so now let us check out, see this is, if you see 21st August, okay, this is 21st August if you see, correct, so what is the high of 21st August, that is 9887, you can see the day high over here, okay, now if you see on the next day, Give me a second. Okay. So the next day it is 9888. So if you see technically the day high is taken out. So I can plan an entry on 21st. Sorry, this is 21st. I am really sorry. This is 21st. So I will take a trade on 22nd. Correct. So on 20. Okay. Give me a second. It is not loading properly. Okay, now let us check out 6th August, 8th, 19th, 20th, 21st. So if you see in Bajaj Auto, the 21st August, the day high is 9864. Okay, on 21st August, the day high is 9864. So on 22nd, the day high is clearly taken out the high is 10,008 correct so if I would have taken a trade on 22nd August check out the move on 23rd August a big green bar to 10,400 that is approximately 400 points and from there onwards if you see currently it is trading at approximately 12,000 that is 11,800 odd levels so I hope this example is clear this is how you are going to plan a trade one more example I would like to show you one more example okay let us check out sbi cards it is directly on the screen okay so let me go and check out sbi cards so i think even sbi cards recently gave a good move so let us check this on okay 19th august if you see on 16th august on 14th august okay before that if i see if you see it was in weak zone. If you see on 13th, it was in weak zone. 13th August, SBI cards was in weak zone. If you see on 14th of August, SBI card came into progressive. Correct? On 14th August, SBI card came in progressive zone. Now, let us check out SBI cards over here on 14th August. Okay, so... See, this was the 14th August. If you see this small red candle, let me maximize. Okay, if you see, I hope now it is clearly visible. On 14th August, the day high was 692.55. If you see on 16th August, the high is 699.20. Technically, it got triggered. So, on next day, that is on 16th August, I will be planning a trade because it, a day high is taken out. And from here onwards, if you see the momentum, it is approximately 800. So from 700 to 800 in just few days, you can say. So I hope this tool is clear and I hope you understood how helpful this tool might be to capture the reversals or to capture a decent swing. Okay. So I, if you like this video, kindly uh, give me the like, uh, share, subscribe and also comment. Do let us know whether you liked it or not or else if you want to know more about any tools, if you have any specific queries, do let us know in the comment section so that we will be able to deliver it at the earliest. So stay tuned. We'll get back to you soon in the next video. Thanks everyone.